Now, some people are theorizing that Rey was a young student of Luke's Jedi Order, and that Luke rescued her from the Knights of Ren when Ben Solo became Kylo Ren. They think that this explains why she is able to use Force Persuasion and a lightsaber. A lot of people think that perhaps Luke Skywalker used the Force to wipe Rey's memory as part of her witness protection program, and this explains why Rey doesn't recognize anyone that would have been familiar to Luke's daughter and or student. Now, I think this is kind of an idea out of left field. There's nothing in the Force Awaken that sets up Rey having a memory wipe, and the very idea kind of reeks of a frozen level plot contrivance to me. The memory wipe theory doesn't make a lot of sense because Rey clearly has memories of her family and of their promise to return. If Rey had forgotten her short history, remember she was only five, and who she was, then her determination to wait for her family wouldn't make much sense. And when BB-8 tells Rey where he came from is confidential, Rey responds, confidential, really? Me too. Big secret. Which could imply that Ray remembers more than what some people are theorizing. Also, a pick and choose memory wipe using the Force. As in, let's remove all memories containing the keyword Luke. It would just reek of a convenience. And again, it would be just like the trolls from the movie Frozen. Of course, it's not impossible that there's some sort of memory wiping in there. It would be kind of a cheap plot device, in my opinion. I think that the reason that some people are kind of latching onto this idea of a memory wipe is because it's the only way that they can rationalize the backstory that they they want to see because without a memory wipe it eliminates the possibility that Rey is a former student of Skywalker. Remember she thinks Skywalker is a myth. Some people think that the part of Rey's vision involving the Knights of Ren and Luke mourning in front of the Burning Jedi Temple, that those are actually repressed memories of Rey. But if those were memories, then why would they include a scene of Bespin in that vision? Why have the vision be 99% about Rey with a little glimpse of Bespin of some reason? Well, there is no reason because Ray's vision was clearly a combination of events, some related to Luke and some related to her. So on that note, it brings me to my next point, the timeline. So Ray was five when she was left on Jakku, and in The Force Awakens, she's about 19 or 20. With that in mind, I actually don't believe that Ray's abandonment had anything to do with Kylo Ren's betrayal of Luke. If those events are connected, that puts Kylo Ren's betrayal 15 years before this movie. Kylo Ren's age is 30 at most, probably 29 since you have to factor in some time for Leia to conceive and go full term after the return of the Jedi. So that would mean that Kylo Ren would have been about 14 when he portrayed Luke. I suppose that that is possible for a 14 year old Jedi Padawan, but it seems a little silly to me, especially when you consider that Kylo Ren is still somewhat lacking in his training at about 29 years old. So it kind of seems dubious that he would have defeated Luke's school 15 years earlier. Also, the man inside the Kylo Ren costume in Rey's vision is clearly the same size as present day Kylo Ren, probably because it's Adam Driver. Were that truly a 14-year-old Kylo Ren, he probably would have been noticeably shorter and or scrawnier. That could be nitpicking, but, you know, it's all about attention to detail, right? Now, some people have pointed out that in the novel, the moment when Han sees Kylo's face after he takes his mask off, the novel says this, For the first time, Han saw the face of his son as a grown man, and it jolted him. Many people are assuming that this means that Ben Solo became Kylo Ren at a very young age. But it's not like Han necessarily was with Ben the day before he became Kylo. Leia talks about sending him away to Luke. Luke's Jedi school was apparently away from Han and Leia. It's like a boarding school, probably. Han and Leia may have gone several years without seeing their son before he turned to the dark side. This even seems to be something that probably added to Kylo's contempt for his parents. Leia even says that it was when she sent Ben away to Luke that she lost him. Also, the quote could just mean that the last time Han saw Ben's face, it was still very boyish and young looking. That kind of jargon could be easily applied to a situation where the last time Han saw Ben, he was like 20 or something, and now he's like 29 and he truly looks like a grown man. That said, I don't think Kylo Ren officially became Kylo Ren until his late teens or early 20s or something. So to me, this means that Rey was probably abandoned before Kylo Ren betrayed Luke, and that the destruction of Luke's new Jedi Order has little to do with Rey's abandonment. Also, if Rey was the sole surviving student of Luke's Jedi Order, then Snoke and Kylo's conversation about Rey's ability with the Force probably would have been a lot different. They likely would have speculated over the possibility that this girl could be the last student of Skywalker that escaped their clutches 15 years ago. Instead, they're both perplexed about where this girl came from, 
And Snoke doesn't even really trust Kylo about how powerful Rey is. He says, if what you say about this girl is true, bring her to me. Snoke and Kylo are clearly unaware of who she is. They don't even really seem to have any real suspicions of who she is. And some might argue that Kylo Ren does have suspicions over Rey's identity. When he first sees her in the woods, he says, the girl I've heard so much about. I first wondered about that statement too. I wondered, whoa, who told Kylo so much about Rey? But upon rewatching the film, it's become clear to me that Kylo is just referring to the fact that every time he gets a report about the location of BB-8, there's always a mention of a girl accompanying the droid. So he keeps hearing about this girl that is helping the droid, and that is frustrating to him because, unlike Finn, Kylo has no idea who this mysterious girl is. And then he finally gets to see her, and he's like, oh, the girl I've heard so much about. Now, going back to the novel again, some people think that Kylo figures out who Rey is based on the line in the novel. So in the novelization, right after Rey uses the force to pull the lightsaber into her hand, Kylo mutters, it is you. This line could imply that Kylo had a suspicion of who Rey was, and her summoning of the lightsaber simply confirmed it for him. But again, I don't know if that's the case. We saw with Kylo Ren that Lucasfilm did not have the characters act a certain way in order to hide Kylo Ren's parentage, just to build up suspense and create a big reveal later on. So completely hiding the suspicions of Kylo, Snow, Khan, or Leia about Rey just to create a big moment later on would feel kind of gimmicky and kind of forced. So in the case of Kylo Ren saying, it is you, and only in the novel, mind you, if he is indeed confirming a suspicion, then it feels kind of cheap that they never had Kylo indicate his suspicions in the first place, not through his face or through his actions or, or anything previous to that point. Therefore, in this situation, I actually think Kylo Ren isn't realizing who Rey is, he's realizing what she is. Now the thing that The Force Awakens did establish with Kylo and Snoke is that the two of them sensed an awakening in the Force. It was something that concerned them and it's what increased their urgency to stop the Resistance from finding Luke Skywalker. So while we never get any indication of Kylo wondering about Rey's identity, we do see that he and Snoke have been curious about this awakening in the Force. So when Kylo sees just how powerful Rey is with the Force, that even untrained, and she wasn't trained, Kylo perceived this and said it to Snoke flat out. He says she is untrained but more powerful than she knows. So that an untrained girl could outdo his own communication with the Force and summon the lightsaber when he could not, I think it became evident to Kylo Ren that this girl was the awakening that they had sensed. And that's probably exactly what Kylo meant in the novel when he said, it is you. And mind you, he only said it in the novel, not in the movie. 